uh, do the risque part next. I'll show you at least the scars. So you know that I'm not making this up, but I'll just go off camera and make sure I can. Mm. Okay. Here's one of the scars. Yeah. Hope you're not eating breakfast while you're watching this. And. Here's the other scar, right? So, just showing you that, not so you throw up, but you understand I've been cut open in recent times. And I'm just, this is all about the road to recovery. And a little bit of chop maintenance. Now, this is, um, well, Little workshop. It's day 20 after a double hernia, inguinal hernia operation, um, trumpet playing recovery. So, um, yeah, got to take things a little bit calmer. Um, mouthpiece buzzing, um, lead pipe into lead pipe buzzing, a bit of a half a lead pipe anyway from a flugel. But, It's really important not to leave the imprint that the mouthpiece does on the layer of fat under the skin of the lip too long because it um, reconfigures, atrophies, whatever you want to say, changes, and then you don't know where to grip the mouthpiece. Having said that, um, post-operative a couple of days, I did do buzzing and within about three or four days I was doing the buzzing into the pipe which adds a little bit more resistance but you certainly have to be a bit careful because things aren't um, meshed together and stitched up properly um, coughing sneezing I find that <coughs> well I'm just takes smoke it that puts a lot of strain on the lower abdomen and a, and a few other things but anyway this is day 20 which is approaching three weeks post-op we're into June 20th I think yeah June 20th I got done on the May 31st Monday June 20th 2023 so getting the blood flow into the embouchure Let's just do a record check. Oh, we are recording nicely. There we go. Big mosquitoes in this house. You can do some pedals as well. I really recommend this because if you put the horn straight on your mouth because of the added resistance you um, you overblow a little bit you want to get the aperture vibrating now any discomfort well that's just called a thing called common sense couldn't get out of the doctor a ruling about it Looked on the trumpet forum, had people talking about not touching the trumpet for the six weeks, three months, whatever. Some of those people were in like military bands, um, getting full pay while they recovered. Other people were hobbyists, other people were onto the horn. Some went onto the horn within three weeks, back to gigs. Um, I had a gig off of last week. I could have taken the trumpet down, but I can play a little bit. Um, I decided no, because in the euphoria and excitement of being in front of an audience, you might just push that limit just a little bit more. Whereas at home, slightest nuance of discomfort. Mm. Anyway, I've added the half lead pipe from the input of the um, flugelhorn. A little bit of 
bit more resistance. If you want to try and get at least two tones out of it, and obviously not going higher, have a higher tone, but a, maybe a pedal tone that's approximately an octave. And there's something about the breathing. I'm not pushing from my chest muscles very much. Um, I'm just kind of deflating myself, I'm just letting the air without much more, to be honest, without much more pressure than just speaking or, or just sitting here and just, you know, circulating the air. So I'm not pushing this at all. It's called the secret business of a brass player, so we're farting noises, but it's actually getting all the circulation. Now that higher mosquito buzz you're hearing now, it's no effort at all, but it didn't come when I first put the mouthpiece on or the lead pipe. Effortless. It's like the efficiency of the aperture it goes up exponentially, the quality of the, the fine buzzing. I think it would be very rare to be able to do that within a few seconds, just putting it on the horn. do waste my time here um, not that I have any pressing commitments right now but <laughs> can't feel any pull or tension really in the, the lower abdomen it's definitely not some um, provocation <laughs> at the moment <laughs> A lot of great educators on trumpet talk about playing as if you're sighing, and that's it's like a sigh. It, uh, it's like a uh, there's no real force behind this. Right, the next thing you can do, you can move on slightly to the instrument, almost. That's just a little bit of a lead pipe, bit of resistance. And then, because we have the different gadgets with us, you take a real trumpet. The other thing with um, post-operative hernias that I had, you can't lift more than, we're not supposed to lift hardly anything for the first few days. So a trumpet's about two kilo, two and a half, three kilos. Just be aware. Now, mouthpiece. And we'll disengage the lead pipe here. All right. I'm not actually going to blow that on myself. It's going to come out that way. And you, just a longer lead pipe with the mouthpiece attached. Change mouthpieces, a bit cold, but... And for some reason, I'm pressing one, valves one and two. It's got nothing to do with it, but psychologically, it's approximating like an E. sighing exertion more of a sigh releasing the air now one of horn players Ken Anderson's Chet Bakers and a million others talk about the long tone this is a really good time in your trumpet of life to revisit the specifics of long tones, piani pianissimo, and yeah, but just let it sigh, no, no, no aggravation. <laughs> now 
I'm doing this, um, this is the sort of work that, you know, if someone's in the room next to you trying to read a book, it's going to be hard. Try and find some, <laughs> some solitude, and then you can just go for it as a horn player, you, the instrument, and recovery. <laughs> So if you use a bit more choke, it'd start. Now, gonna attach the main tuning slide back in. I'm gonna actually, um, about mm, a few days back, when I, when I first actually picked up the full horn, I didn't want the extra resistance that a muted offer um, because that's even more uh, pressure. But on day 20, as long as I'm careful, what do I mean by careful? Let your body dictate the terms of how long you play and how long you stay. Now here we go, a bit of a mute in it. This mute, very unstable at the lower registers, anything above an E, an E3 or something is okay, but um, yeah. But for the purposes of not blasting out. <laughs> still be able to do long note all right well we'll come back in a minute for part part two of this